Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. In the last video we took a look at uh, dynamic form fields using turbo frames. So we created this sign up form where you could sign up as an individual or a company which would create you an account. And um, now we're going to take a look at rolling your own authentication. So previously you could register for an account but it didn't actually log you in and there was no uh, login form to log in. Um, so we're doing this all through Reels and we're using the has secure password library of which comes built in with Reels. So has secure password under the hood will use the bcrypt gem and create a secure st strong password um, and it's not plain text or anything like that so it helps with some of the security side of things to use built-ins like this um, obviously there are other libraries out there the likes of device or clearance um, i've used device a lot in the past and it's really good and it brings lots of things with it so forgot your password emails um, confirm your account emails all that side of things however it is um, there's quite a lot to it and uh, rolling your own authentication can sometimes be faster and also gives you complete control over things so today we're going to take a look at that rolling your own um, authentication and then we're going to follow up with another video afterwards uh, that sets up GraphQL and um, allows you to register or log in with GraphQL and get a token back rather than using cookies so um, stay tuned for the GraphQL stuff that will be coming in the next video and now we will dive in and take a look at the has secure password uh, and how all that stuff works. Okay, so the first thing I want to take a look at is adding some helpers to application controller. So these will basically allow us to um, have helpers for getting the current account, um, signing in, and logging out so i'm just going to create a few here so we're going to say current account and we'll want to add on helper method current account and that basically lets us call this from our views so um current account will just check if session account id and then if that is there we can do Count dot find by ID and use that session to look it up. So that's quite simple. Next one then we'll do is sign in and we'll need to pass an account to that. And then we can just take our session and say equals account dot ID. And then the last one will be sign out and we don't need an account there we can just do set that to nil so those are the helpers we need now we basically need to copy this and after our registration we didn't do anything in, in the previous video so we're going to go back to registrations controller and after you register we're going to sign you in so if I come along here and register, so I can say Pete email address, Pete H at example.com, make up a password and hit register. You'll now see this, you have signed up screen. We can now go to that screen and um, put in the name because we'll now be logged in. So we can say current account dot name and then reload. You've now signed up Pete. Now we can look at this page and make sure that you can't access it signed out. So if I copy this and open it in a private tab, 
you'll see we get an error undefined method name for nil class so really what we want is that you shouldn't be able to access this page if you're not signed in so we can go to our application controller create a new helper ensure signed in and what we can do here is redirect to root path unless current account and then take this go to our pages controller and just do a before action so we can say before action ensure signed in and now if i go back and reload this instead of getting the error we now just get redirected back to the home page and the sign up form so that's good and if we come back to this screen and reload it still works because we are already signed in so that's sign in now we need to do um, a logout so let's go ahead and add a logout link so we've got a link to logout it's just going to go to forward slash logout and we'll reload this so we've got that let's make a route for that now so what we're actually going to do here is um, create a sessions controller so we're going to do reels generate controller sessions and this is going to control both our sign in and our sign out so we'll create sessions and we're going to need a new form to handle our login form so let's generate that now if we go to our sessions controller we can add one for create which is going to handle when we submit that login form the other one we can add then is destroy which is going to handle logout so um, if we go back to our application controller we created a sign out helper so we can take that go to our sessions controller call sign out and then redirect to root path and save so now we need to wire that up in roots so if we go to roots and we can say get logout to sessions destroy hit save there and now if we click log out we get logged out and we go back to the home page so that's log out working and now we need to look at signing in and a sign in form so if we go to new sessions and i'm just gonna go in and grab some of the form so we'll copy all of that and just start hacking away at it so we'll say sign in model we won't have a model and then url we will go to our routes and define one so what we can say is resources sessions and then only uh, new and create and then let's just look at those rights so we can say rights and we can see we've got this new session path or sessions so we'll take this one go into our form now and we'll post to sessions path so form errors we won't have and then form fields let's just get rid of all of these and we'll just keep email and password and we'll change this from send register to login now if we go to sessions slash new you can see we've now got our sign in form so we can go ahead and type in um, phatexample.com, type in my password 
and we'll go to the sessions controller and make this work so we can go um, account equals account dot find by and then email params email and then we can do if account dot authenticate params password else we render the new view we need to put this in for turbo which is unprocessable entity and then in here if it works we can say redirect to um, where's our sign up path let's see sign up success path now let's see what happens and obviously oh I think I know what's happened here if we go back um, the first thing we're not doing here is actually signing us in so we need to say sign in account and hit save and now I need to click login again and you'll see it works so that's good logins working the one thing we haven't got yet is if there is a problem with the password so if I go log out and then we'll go back to actually let's put a login button in here just to make things easier so underneath our create new account what we'll do is create a paragraph and in here we can say have an account already and then we'll do our link to login and it's new session path reload and if we click login that works what we can also then do is take this and go back to our sign in screen and what we can say is need an account register and we'll say new new registration path so if we reload this we've got register login and we'll just add a quick bit of style into those links so text blue 600 and underline and we'll put this across for our login button as well So log in, register, and the only other thing we'll do here is just center those. So there we go. Maybe a bit of margin top as well. Yep, that's better. Okay, so the biggest problem here we have is if we hit login and we get undefined method authenticate for nil class so if it doesn't find the account we're failing so let's fix that we can do that using an ampersand so we reload so do login unrecognized status code and i've spelled this wrong There we go. So we press login, nothing happens. So we need some kind of flash message. So we'll say flash uh, sign in equals invalid email or password. And we can take this flash sign in and in our view, sessions view, we can do a check for that. So. We can go in here and just do if flash sign in. Then let's create a div and put that in as a message. So that's good. Just want to style it a wee bit. 
So we'll say March bottom four background pink 100 text pink 700 padding three rounded corners. There we go. So that works well. Maybe just need to center the text as well. And now let's make sure it still works. So ph at example.com and my password, login, and it all works. So um, that was maybe a bit fast, but we've got all the different parts of our login. So in our application controller, you can see all these helper methods, which basically build login for you. So you have your ensure signed in, which just redirects you away from pages unless current accounts there. And we just use the session to store that account ID. And in Reels, the session is powered by encrypted cookies. So it's all fairly secure and um, that account ID can't be accessed or set on the front end. So um, that's how to roll your own login. As I mentioned earlier, the next video, we're gonna be looking at extending this out further with GraphQL. So we'll be setting up GraphQL Ruby and creating GraphQL mutations for register, login, and we'll create a query for fetching your current account details, um, which is basically how you would start setting up a GraphQL server for most projects. So I hope that's been interesting. Um, if you wanna see more videos like this, please subscribe and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or any suggestions for future content, that'd be great. Thank you.